What's up guys, Dave Nader 1202 and it's list day. Ah uh, yes, list day. And today we're looking at the best cards that are Duel Links exclusives. With the state of the world, we've been playing a lot of Duel Links lately and it's actually kind of interesting to see how many cards are in that game that we don't have in TCG Yu-Gi-Oh. In order to make things easy, we're going to extend the criteria to any digital only format card. I know that some of the cards may have appeared in other video games, but as long as they don't have a physical card printing, they are eligible for the list. That's just, it's just neater that way. So without further ado, let's get started. Number 10 is Dimensional Equilibrium, a normal trap card. When a beast type monster that you control is destroyed by an opponent's attacking monster and sent to the graveyard, target that monster, special summon it, and banish the opponent's monster. This is an interesting card because it's some sort of weird combination of Call of the Haunted and Dimensional Prison. Granted, it's, it's, it's landlocked to beast decks, and like all battle traps, it's a little slow and it'll probably get it blown up before it ever gets an opportunity to use, but if it does get activated and resolved, the advantage is real good. Now, you might be asking yourself, But Dave, just play D-Prison, and your monster doesn't even get killed. Uh, and, and yeah, but D-Prison has a TCG Prince, so it's not eligible for the list. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit clunky, and we have a card in Duel Links that is better than this. But there is some niche application, like maybe your monster needs to get sent to the graveyard for an effect. Uh, and won't miss timing. I, that's a, that's a plus, I guess, I don't know. The card's okay. Number nine, Arcana Force, oh Roman numerals, The Hangman, level six light fairy, 2200 attack and defense. As an Arcana Force monster, it is based in tarot. And depending on who you ask, if the tarot cards appear in front of you in various orientations, it changes their meaning. So in order to emulate that, the way these Arcana Force guys work is you flip a coin when you summon them. And Hangman is no exception. When this card is summoned, you flip a coin and apply effect depending on the result. Unless of course you have the field spell that I think you get to pick. Once per turn, during your end phase, target a monster that you control, blow it up, and then you take damage equal to its attack. But if you get Tails during your end phase, you target a monster your opponent controls, blow it up, and your opponent takes the damage equal to the attack. However, with skills and the field spell and all that hooey, uh, it's actually pretty solid spot removal, especially in Duel Links. In the real TCG Yu-Gi-Oh, I think this card would actually be pretty lousy. <laughs> Number eight is Cat Girl Magician, a rank four XC monster. Light spellcaster, 2K attack, 1800 defense. Made of two level four monsters, generic. So what does this generic rank four cat planet cutie actually do? What are you doing down here? Pervert. I can explain. Ew, I made that reference. Shame on you, Dave. Once returned during your battle phase, you can detach a material from this card, half this card's current attack, but it can attack directly. That lasts until the end of the turn. Obviously, it's a janky version of Heartland Draco, but I don't think that's in Duel Links, so this is the next best thing. <laughs> and you know what? It has this attack down to 1k, but when you start with 4,000 life points, that's still a quarter of your life points, so this thing could still end games. And because we don't have main phase 2, the rank 4 game closer honors can't really go to Cowboy as well as it normally can. So it's interesting that we have this as a Duel Links exclusive option for that. And obviously you can boost it, so that, that is still an option. Number seven, Tomato King. Rank three Earth Plant Monster. 1600 attack, 800 defense. Made of two level three plant monsters. Once per turn, detach one material from this card. This card's attack becomes double its original attack until the end of the opponent's turn. 16 times two is 3200. That's big number. That's a big number. Big numbers. Not only that, it's Tomato Man. And and that's fun. All these like anime exclusive Duel Links cards always have the jankiest artwork though. It's like they ripped it right out of like a, a, a still from the anime. <laughs> okay, so I know I normally try to keep my entries to one per archetype, but I don't think this is an archetype. So I, I think I'm in the clear. Tomato in tomato. I'm choosing to pronounce it that way because I like, I like how it sounds that way. <laughs> idiot. Level 3 Earth Plant. 1000 attack, 1400 defense, but who cares? Cannot be used for the material of an XC monster except a plant XC monster. Hmm. When this card is a normal summon, you can summon another copy of it from your hand or deck. Nice. It's it's just a uh, ketchup flavored tour guide. Why are you boring me? I'm right. Would we play it in TCG? I don't know, probably not. But hey, in Duel Links, it's cool because uh, summoning a monster directly from your deck is still pretty novel in that game. 
Landlocking it to Planet Sea monsters means you're probably much only going in Tomato King with it. Uh, feels bad, man. But who knows? Maybe one day we'll have another rank three plant monster. Is there even one? Is there even? Ow! I just stubbed my toe. Oh, we got Battle Cruiser, Dianthus, and Melanie of the Trees. Okay, sure, why not? So yeah, other cards exist. I don't know, remember if they're in the game or not, but there's at least other targets, so that's novel. Number five is Volcanic Wall. This continuous spell card reads, once per turn, you can send the top three cards of your deck to the graveyard and inflict burn damage to your opponent 250 times the number of pyro monsters you milled. It says you can mill from your deck, and if you do, do the burn damage. It does not say you need to have pyro monsters in your deck to begin with. That is really good. No offense, but I think it's kind of gross. I'm actually really surprised we don't have this one in the TCG because I don't think it'd be broken. It's just a continuous spell version of, of, of Raiden, but I'm sure every Light Sworn player ever would appreciate the ability to mill more from their deck. Not that they have much of a problem doing that to begin with. As a matter of fact, on, on Duel Links meta, I looked up the card because they had the better card artwork and more updated card texts. Because the ones on the wiki were like janky. They weren't good uh, problem solving card text. The ones on Duel Links meta were, were better and I think they reflect the game's text, but w regardless. Like the top decks using it were all like Light Sworn and stuff. So I was like, oh, uh, I am reading this correctly. It doesn't need to be in a Volcanic deck. That's actually very interesting. Too bad it's like, uh, I think it's like a, a level 45 unlock though. So like you get like one of Boo. Number four is probably only this high in the list because uh, Karen has some input on these things. Oh, Jamandala, Jamadala, Jama, Princess Amadala. Activate only by paying 1,000 light points while you have Ojama green, yellow, and black in your graveyard. Special one copy of each from your graveyard. Okay, so it requires to have the three bricks in your grave. So the setup's a bit there, but it's not too hard for the deck to do that. But more importantly, day super. Plus two, it fills up your field, man. We probably don't have this because it's basically like soul charge for this deck and it would actually probably be a solid link engine. So uh, could we have this card? Yeah, probably, because it's, it's landlocked to a bad deck, but uh, it would certainly be a blowout and that'd be actually fun to see in modern Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good freaking card, actually. Number three is Double Ripple. Send two face up monsters you control to the graveyard, one tuner, one non tuner whose combined levels equal seven. Special summon power tool dragon or ancient fairy dragon from your extra deck. Basically, polymerization for two of the signer dragon. It's interesting because it means you can summon a synchro monster via card effect, which uh, turns it from an inherent special summon into a non inherent special summon, dodging various effects in the process. All right, so imagine my surprise when I'm not staying across the room looking at a script, but instead reading the card right in front of me, it says both. Like you get both Ancient Fairy Dragon and Power Tool Dragon. So it's just, you get just a, a two for one, free. Uh, it's it's actually quite good. It's an interesting spell card. And the fact that it allows you to cheese monsters out of your extra deck does circumvent various uh, floodgates and other restrictions. So I think it's actually kind of cool. Number two, D-Mind. If you control no Destiny Hero monsters, special summon one Destiny Hero monster from your deck. Man, they missed an opportunity to call this card D-Mand, because like, you're demanding a monster. Oh, you were this close. It's basically a D-Hero specific hero lives with no life point cost. That's, uh, that's, that's really free. I couldn't imagine modern D-Hero decks wouldn't love to have this as an option. I don't know if you'd play it at three, but hell, it's certainly a fantastic free setup card. What do you get, like Solid Man out with this thing? I don't know how to play that deck. It's just a one for one that summons from your deck via spell card. That's it's just, just, it's just simple, pure, good setup. All right, we do have an honorable mention that is Ice Mirror. Ice Mirror actually like just got released in the OCG. We don't have a TCG print of it yet. So I figured I'd at least give it a shout out. It's a very, very good card. And for a very long time, I think it was like a video game exclusive. So why not? Target one level three or lower water monster you currently control, special summon a copy of it from your deck, a monster with the same name. But that monster cannot declare an attack this turn. The real version of the card is actually nerfed from this version. This doesn't do exactly the same thing. So 
I, um, I don't know if it still counts or not. It's, it's really weird. But like the physical version says you like can't summon from your extra deck or something, right? Yeah, instead of the battle restriction, it says that you cannot special summon monsters from your extra deck while you control the monster summoned by this card. That's so booty! But anyway, still, it, it, it's, it's stupid that they, they ruined it. And we have a dishonorable mention. Dishonorable mention is Playmaker. No, not that playmaker. Hell, not even this playmaker. And you know what? You may suck. <laughs> no, I'm just talking about straight, just the, the XC monster playmaker. Played by some soccer fan uh, in Zexel. It's a rank five earth warrior monster. 2600 attack, 2500 defense, made of three level five monsters. Ew. If this card is special summon to change all face down defense position monsters to face up attack position monsters, you don't activate flip effects. Freaking crawler players be like... That can't be all it does, that's just like stern mystic with extra steps. At the start of the damage step, if this thing attacked a monster, you can detach a material from this card, target the opponent's monster with the highest attack. This thing can then make a second attack in the row against that monster. Ugh. So you gotta hope that uh, their highest attack monster is something that you can kill, otherwise its effect is gonna force it to smash into something and die. This might be one of the most ironically named cards in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. You're not making plays with this thing. You are making misplays. <laughs> Misplay maker. <laughs> it's like a girl version of the card. All right, number one, best Duel Links slash video game exclusive card that we have is somehow an OG Roid monster. Kiteroid, currently actually at limit two, believe it or not. Kiteroid is a level one win machine monster. Ooh, that's good typing. 200 attack, 400 defense. And it has two effects, they're literally the same thing. During damage calculation, if your opponent declares a direct attack, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard as a quick effect to change the battle damage you would take to zero. And if this thing is in your graveyard, you can banish it from your graveyard when your opponent declares a direct attack to do exactly the same thing. Meaning that uh, you can basically turn two direct attacks into donuts. Kyroid don't care, you can use them both in the same turn, it's fine. Matter of fact, because they're both quick effects, you can actually discard it for the first one for cost and then chain its graveyard effect to itself. <laughs> it is written in such a way that one could do something so stupid if they really must. I suppose it would be a way of getting around like called by the grave, right? <laughs> Imagine called by the graving a kiteroid. For being basically just spicy Wabuku, this card's actually really good in Duel Links. I think that mostly stems from the fact that Duel Links is just kind of battle phase dependent because we only have half life points, so every monster is doing a better percentage of your life points with every successful direct attack. You die quicker! What Kite Roid cannot protect you from is today's sponsor, MetaMats. <laughs> if you want a custom cloth playmat, use my code TROLLTHEMETA at checkout and you can get like 10% off your playmat. I, I'm trying something different, Ryan, Ryan told me to. <laughs> hey! Be quiet. Don't get, don't get mad. Overall, this is just a, a absolutely fantastic card. All right, guys, that was the list. I hope you guys enjoyed it. There's some really strange cards that are like anime, exclusive Duel Links, exclusive stuff. If you're interested, we also could do the worst of. I think next week, though, we're gonna get back to the uh, main series of the games because I gotta, I gotta get some non-Duel Links stuff in the repertoire for all you guys that don't play it. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see the other list. And remember guys, if you don't troll the matter who will, I'll see you guys next time. Just a quick special thank you to all my supporters over on Patreon. You guys make the whole channel possible. You guys have no idea how much it means to me that you guys do that. If you guys want to be part of the Goblet Attack Force, link for the Patreon down in the description below. Dueling takes both luck and skill. Show this by pressing the subscribe and notification buttons now. Bear witness to these other Davinator 1212 videos. Hmm? Oh, Dion. What is it, Master? It's time to apply the ointment. Uh, Come help me with this. I should have left with Ishizu. I can't reach. <laughs>